Hey Spikers RFC fans, this is Spikers here and I figured I'm going to show you a quick little tutorial on how to one of the water weight, or one of the, pardon me, one of the ways I can't speak tonight, one of the ways to waterproof uh, a receiver um, and make it so that you don't have to worry so much about it getting wet. Uh, this is just one of the ways. Uh, the way I'm going to do it tonight is actually with a just a regular run-of-the-mill balloon. Uh, this is my Academy's or Supreme Academy F1 Pro Boat. Um, nothing special. It's an old boat. Whatever. Um, it's fine. It's a decent boat for what it is. And you know what? It's fun enough that I can justify doing a few things to it. Uh, what I've already done is I've already taken out the old receiver. Um, it was an old AM receiver. I'm not sure where I stuck it right now, but... Oh, here it is. Right here. And this was the old remote for it. I'm going to tape these together and... Well, I'll store them somewhere in case I ever need them again. Or if somebody ever wants it, they can have it. Uh, anyway, so I've already gone ahead, put the new receiver in here. I put another Spectrum SR3100 in. Thanks again, Ricky. Um, they all work with my DX3S, so it makes it so much easier. I'm only going to have to bring out one controller for pretty much all of my vehicles, which is absolutely amazing. I'm probably going to buy another DX3S, just so that if a friend of mine wants to come with me and go bashing or racing or whatever, and they're going to borrow one of my vehicles, I can just do a quick bind to the other DX3S and we can both race whatever we want. Anyway, so well, I've already gone ahead. The, uh, the ESC and servo is already plugged in. Here's the antenna wire. And they all just, it's all going to just basically come out like this with this being inside the balloon. And how we do that is we're just going to take the balloon, stretch it open, grab the receiver, and carefully put it in the balloon. Just like so. So now the receiver is down here at the bottom. All right, you can see it right here. All the wires are coming up through the neck, and what I what I like to do is I'm just going to roll this down a little bit, keep this open, give it a little twist. But what the my secret is is I take a little bit of electrical tape. Where's the end of the the roll here? I take a little electrical tape and all I'm going to do is just wrap it tightly around the neck and I'm going to bring that down a little bit more and what this does is I'm just creating a little bit of padding for the latex because I mean you got to remember these are latex balloons or rubber balloons so they're not overly uh, strong. I'm just going to cut the tape here. I should cut a little bit of my receiver wire. That's okay, I'll take that too. And all I'm doing is I've just created like a little bit of padding because what I'm going to do now is take a zip tie and go around it because a zip tie is a pretty hard nylon, right? And I don't want it to cut into the balloon and break it and thus the balloon losing its waterproofing abilities. Because the whole idea behind this is to keep the balloon from being ripped, torn, whatever. Okay, and so it's going to pinch it off a little bit, but 
it's strong enough now that it's not moving on the wires, so that's going to stop any and all issues of water coming into it. And I'll just give that a snip there. And there you go. It's now waterproofed, it's ready to go. I don't think I'm going to have to worry about that, but I'm going to put a little bit of tape on it anyways. Just because I can. Put that up out of the way. And that is just going to stop any water or whatever from causing me grief later on. Now what I'm also going to do in this case, because this is a boat, is I have a little bit of double sided tape. I'm actually going to take this top right off for now. And there's quite a big void in the nose of this thing. And the idea here is, is that in the nose, I'm going to put the receiver so that it's hanging versus uh, sitting in the bottom where if any water gets inside that it comes in contact with it. So I just put a little bit of double sided tape directly onto the rubber balloon there. And I've got to be so careful with this tape here because it always lifts when I try to peel the backing off. And I'm going to learn the secret one day. Okay, I'm going to finish this off just because my battery is about to die on the camera. So I've got that peeled. And then I'm just going to take it and put it up in the cockpit like so. Give it a press. And there. Now it's hanging from the ceiling. And I should avoid any water issues. Anyway. There you go. It's all set. It's done. It's ready to go. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something. Have a great time, guys, and I hope to see you again soon. Like and subscribe to the channel, please, guys. I really appreciate it. Cheers.